Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it's time to review yet another one of these supposed Dunhill Elizabethan replacement blends, and that is one by Sheraton called Victorian Mixture. So, I reviewed the K&K &K produced Majesty Elizabeth. And that may or may not even be, be available anymore. They may be trying to rebrand it. I don't even know. It's not available in the U.S., so I don't pay that much attention. And after having reviewed it, I didn't think it tasted really anything like Elizabethan. Here's another one. Um, and again, there are all these rumors swirling around about how this has been produced. There are people saying, oh, this is some, it's a Danish company. They actually have the recipes for the Dunhill blends, and this is their version of that recipe. There are other people saying that, no, this is basically the K&K &K version, but it's been rebranded for Sheraton. There are other people saying that, no, it's a separate company entirely. I can't figure out who makes this. I know it's branded Sheraton, but Sheraton isn't actually blending this as far as I can tell. There's just so much rumor and innuendo and false information on the forums. It's really difficult to find out actual information about these blends. So a call out to all of you who are watching. If you guys have actual information with evidence, I guess, I don't know what evidence there could be, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'm sure a lot of it will be things that I've already read, but I just don't have any confidence in saying this is produced by this company um, to this recipe. So I'm just going to say, ah, ugh, I don't know. Um, it may be produced in Denmark. I'm not sure. It may be based on the Dunhill uh, ingredients for Elizabethan mixture. I'm not sure. I don't know. But it's supposed to taste like Elizabethan. Um, and that's sort of the direction that this review is going to go because frankly, I'm getting a little annoyed by the supposed Elizabethan replacements, but we'll get into that in a little bit. It is not available anywhere in the US. Um, you have to be in Europe if you wanna get this. If you're in the UK, GQ Tobaccos would be a good place to get it. And then as far as the continent, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I mostly focus on US retail websites because that's where I'm based. But uh, Tin description, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know maybe I seem a little bit eh about this, but, but we'll get into that. The tin description on this is, is very short, very to the point. It says, <clears throat> Victorian mixture, dark Virginia tobacco with Louisiana Perique. There you go. That's pretty much what it is. The blend type is a vapor, a Virginia slash Perique blend. A lot of people ask me what vapor means if you're new to the pipe smoking hobby. That's what it means. Virginia tobaccos and Perique mixed together. Um, and that's what it contains. As I mentioned, Virginia's Periques. I don't know what kinds of Virginia's necessarily. I'm assuming there are some reds in here, assuming there are some brights in here as well. But that's all the information I was able to get. There was no manufacturer site where I saw an exact list of the types of component tobaccos used. But let's get to the vital stats. I've got them right here. Bam. And we will start with flavoring. I'm gonna say none detected, but there is definitely something going on here, some sort of topping. I think I'm detecting something, a flavor that I cannot completely attribute to just the component tobaccos used, but it's not distinct enough for me to say what it is. So I'm just going to still say none detected, but, but there's something, there's a little something there. And then the cut is a ribbon. Let me show you that right now. Sheraton Victorian Mixture. Very simple tin design, just kind of orange, and there's a little horsey, and it says Victorian Mixture. And there's a very large anti-smoking message on there that I have uh, basically covered up with some Sharpie because it irritated me. Oh, and there's one there too. Smoking can kill your unborn child. All right. And inside, There's not really much left. There's just kind of some crumbs. Uh, it was a ribbon. Now it's just crumbs, leftover bits of ribbon. And it was fairly okay. Like not too wet, not too dry. It was moist towelette basically when it came out or when I opened the tin. Um, you can see there's a little bit of perique in there, the black stuff, there's some Virginia in there. I've had this for a long time, Kay. I'm sorry. I should have done this first. I should have done this right when I opened the tin and I will try to remember to do that more in the future. All right, there you go. Back to the vital stats. We go into strength. 
This one, as opposed to Elizabethan, which as you should all know by now, is my very favorite daily smoke of all, of all time. Um, this is just a medium. It's not as strong as Elizabethan and also in taste. It's not as full flavored as Elizabethan. It's just kind of a medium, middle of the road, vapor blend. And then the nicotine level, again, not as strong as Elizabethan. Elizabethan is a pretty powerful blend in terms of nicotine. This one, I'd say, is medium as well. The moisture from tin was moist towelette, but as you saw when I showed you what remains in my tin, it's gotten pretty dry now, but that's just because I've had it for so long. And then the packaging, 50 gram tin, like this. Um, get to the tin note. This is where this blend really starts differentiating itself from Elizabethan. It doesn't smell anything like it. And I still have some tins of Elizabethan floating around. I have one open at the moment and I was able to just do a one-to-one -one odor comparison between this and Elizabethan, and it doesn't smell at all like Elizabethan. It's kind of a dead giveaway. This one has this very strange, very sweet, almost cocoa vanilla sort of overtone to it. It's very weird, and it is not at all... I've never had a vapor blend that was all natural that smelled like that. That, that's not appropriate for the component tobaccos used. So that's what especially is making me think there may be some sort of topping in this. And it's kind of overpowering anything else. I smell maybe a little bit of that sort of dried, figgy, raisiny sort of perique uh, aroma. The Virginias aren't really making themselves known. I think when I first opened this, the Virginia scent was a little bit more powerful. But yeah, right now I'm getting that strange sort of cocoa vanilla flavor or odor. And then the room note, room note should be stricken from the record. I've decided. I'm making an executive decision right now. Um, it smells exactly like burning tobacco when you're in a room with it. That's, that's what it smells like. It smells like burning tobacco. Um, I happen to like that smell. A lot of people don't. So we're going to keep it there. And then if we get to the actual review now. <sighs> All right, well, let's, let's start with the mechanics. It's fine. It was moist towelette when I got it. It was easy to pack, easy to light. Didn't have any issues really. Um, didn't have any tongue bite, anything like that. Perfectly fine mechanically. Now that that's out of the way, let me light this up and uh, we'll get into the actual review. This blend is fine. It's fine. It's a medium body, medium flavor, medium nicotine content vapor blend. There are Virginia tobaccos in here. There's Perique in here. There are some other flavors that we'll get into in a little bit, but it's fine. But the fact that they go out of their way to associate themselves with a brand and a blend, and a brand and a blend that a lot of people, including myself, really, really love, actually kind of annoys me because, in my opinion, it doesn't taste like the thing that they are trying to evoke. And if this were just Sheraton's whatever mixture, this is just a vapor that we have put out, we've placed on the market, I think I would be much more predisposed to like it because I like vapors, I like Virginia Perique mixtures, but the fact that they try to associate themselves with Dunhill Elizabethan it just irritates me because this doesn't taste like Dunhill Elizabethan, really at all. It tastes much more similar to the K&K &K Majesty Elizabeth that I reviewed a while back. It has this interesting, not horrible, but sort of interesting almost floral note to it. There's a little bit of that cocoa, a little bit of that vanilla that I was mentioning, but it's so indistinct that it's hard for me to say that there is cocoa and there is vanilla on this. There's some decent Virginia flavor. There's probably too much sweetness, a little bit more than I would normally like in a vapor. The Perique is of an okay, uh, I'd say, level in the blend. It's not too peppery, not too spicy, but it's not too weak in that regard either. Eh. It's just, it's fine. It's fine. But it's not Elizabethan. It doesn't taste like Elizabethan. Don't try to claim that it is Elizabethan. I know they're not saying exactly that it is Elizabethan, but they're trying to say that it's evocative of Elizabethan. And it's not. It doesn't taste like it. 
Now, I cannot speak to the Murray's version of Elizabethan. I've never had it. Maybe this tastes like that. I don't know. I tend to doubt it though, and it just annoys me. And I'm getting tired of it, and I don't want to review any more of these blends that come out and say, this is the replacement for Dunhill's Elizabethan. Just come out with your own blend, make it good. It's like GLP Stratford. I decided that that was going to replace Elizabethan as my daily vapor kind of smoke. Does it taste like Elizabethan? Not really but they're not claiming to taste like Elizabethan. It's just a good vapor. It's a nice, decent meat and potatoes vapor blend. And this one isn't as good as Stratford by any means, I would say. Those flavors on top of the natural tobacco flavor are kind of throwing it off for me a little bit. It's still perfectly smokable. I don't really have any issue with it, but it, it doesn't, it's not something that I crave. It's not something that I look forward to. Well, that's not really true. I, I look forward to almost any pipe I have as a relaxing sort of contemplative thing to do. But in terms of like, mm, I'm really going to savor this particular blend, not really. But it's, neither is it something that I'm irritated by, well, other than the things that we've already discussed. But flavor-wise, it doesn't bother me. Um, there aren't any mechanical issues. It smokes fine. It's serviceable. It does the job. It's not Elizabethan. And quit trying to say that you're Elizabethan when you're not Elizabethan. Nobody is Elizabethan. Nothing is Elizabethan. Elizabethan is gone. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. Long live the queen.